All right, some more drift action for you. Something that I learned over the weekend. Uh, big thanks to Sidebrain, aka Yuta. He's an absolute legend. Um, I'll, I'll link to the podcast that he did with Dan, who's another legend. Um, and Yuta mentioned something about drift, and that is how the filter reacts depending on the volume of your oscillator. So to set this up, we have a default drift here. If we turn off oscillator two and turn off the noise, we'll leave oscillator one on and set the volume somewhere like negative 40. And then you can kind of change this to whatever you want. We're gonna use this little, what is that? Like a pulse wave or something. Turn on filter type two, frequency down, resonance, crank it, uh, turn off the pressure control. And then we have envelope two controlling this filter. So check this out. With this very, very quiet, so you can see the level coming out here and it's not much. If we turn on some like OTT or saturation, I have this little uh, OTT starter rack that's on my Patreon that gets wild. <laughs> So you can very, very easily get into some of this sort of like acid territory. We actually turn that off and I'll show you. You can just do this with uh, saturators as well. Just crank up the drive. Do two of them. Oof. Oof. And we can adjust our main envelope here. I mean, it just gets very nasty. And what's crazy too, if we just bring the volume down here so I don't blow your eardrums out. Like you can hear with our volume on that oscillator so low. So that's the sound we get. But then once we start to crank this, See, it changes drastically. And let's, let's go back to my OTT starter, because what's nice about this is that, so you can have this happening, right? But then you have oscillator two, and you can basically determine that that doesn't go through the filter, and then kind of use this as a sub. Set that to zero. It's a little noisy with this on there, but you can kind of see, especially you start to add a little bit of reverb into this chain. So very, very simple, but again, drift, drift, drift. like holy crap, dude. Um, and again, this is a super, super quick video. I just wanted to share that, that again, don't be afraid to mess with super low volumes on the oscillators and then just saturate, distort, compress, whatever you want to do after that. And you can get some drastically different sounds. So I'll play you out with this little thing that I just made the other day. This is, uh, was it three different drifts? So this one's resampled here. And then these are, I can just show you the patch here. It's really nothing crazy on this one. Again, nothing too crazy on this one, but I'll play you out. Thanks for watching.